Praise God. My name is Philip Thomas, otherwise known as Kenneth. Um, I go to Yonkers Church of God, pastored by Pastor Philip Thomas, my dad. PYFA has given me the awesome opportunity to bring you a quick word. Um, and the word I want to focus on today is Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. I will quickly read them for you in an IV. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. This was a season of time in Jesus' life immediately prior to the start of his ministry. In other translations, the previous verses read, Next, Jesus was taken into the wild by the Spirit for the test. The devil was ready to give it. Jesus prepared for the test by fasting 40 days and 40 nights. It refers to this season of time as a preparation and testing. Jesus knew that he would be tested and prepared for these tests with fasting. At the start of 2021, I had the desire to make the commitment of intentionally fasting and praying once a week. As all New Year's resolutions tend to go, I haven't been able to accomplish that consistently, but I have been able to do it more often. I didn't understand why I had that desire placed on my heart. I fasted along with my church when we go through the normal 20-day fasting meetings. I fasted with my family when we're trying to surrender things before God, but it wasn't something I ever felt inclined to start on my own. Um, though I did not understand what prompted the desire, I decided to go through with it anyway. During the season of preparation, I learned about what it meant to discipline myself and my body. Through the process of fasting, I learned that similar to building up muscle by working out, I'm not going to flex because I have the muscles, uh, I learned to say no to hunger and resist temptation in one avenue of my life. I saw that same strength begin to pour into other areas of my life, saying no physically to ideas and people and spiritually to dis distractions and temptations. Jesus' resistance of temptation was not an act of physical strength. The ability to say no did not come from the human aspect of his body. During the first, the, during the 40 day, day fast in the wilderness, as he spiritually spent time growing in communion with his father, Jesus grew in his ability to say no to temptation by practicing self-discipline. For 40 days he had, he had been fasting and physically his body was weak. Verse two states directly, after fasting, he was hungry. But this same season of hunger was the same season that prepared his spirit to face the temptations that were to come. Jesus knew that the only place that he can find true satisfaction was through the Lord. His mind and spirit strengthened through the continuous exercise of saying no to himself. This time that Jesus spent fasting was not only marked by refusal to eat food, but by communion with God. As we commit to fasting, we, cannot, we need to be cognizant of the time we use for fasting. We all understand the difference between fasting and a diet. Don't let the words intermittent fasting fool you. You aren't fasting before God by just foregoing breakfast. Like the time that Jesus spent in the desert, this time has to be marked by communion with God. As our spirit strengthens, our fleshly desires are foregone. As we focus on Him, we spend less time focusing on ourselves. This is applied to the hunger we feel as well towards the spiritual combat that we encounter as well. Though our, body, through our bodies and minds, we can't wage war against the things of the spiritual realm. As Christians, we are called into a new life, and with that call, we'll be called into times of testing. Honestly, the pandemic seems to be a season of testing and trial for everyone in some way or another. But like John Maxwell once spoke on faith, faith that cannot be tested cannot be trusted. As our spirit is tested, we must learn to strengthen ourselves through fasting and prayer. Church of God, I challenge you guys to uh, step with me in this new period of fasting and this new period of testing. Let's strengthen ourselves before God. Let's discipline our bodies and our minds and get ready for the tests that are to come. I thank PYFA for this time. I thank God for being with me. And uh, I ask that you guys continue to pray for me. Have a great day.